guys, it's me, Color McCassy, and today we're going to be doing a cream contour tutorial. So guys, for cream contouring today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. And for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the color Fair. Broken from the start, chained to our backs. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and take some of this concealer and put it underneath my eyes. And then with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, I'm just going to blend that out. And now I'm going to start using my Cream Contour Kit. I'm going to start by taking the lightest shade in here and using that to highlight this triangle underneath the eye. And I'm also going to cover up the redness right underneath my nose. And I tend to get really red there during the day, so the little bit of concealer is just going to help. I'm going to highlight my chin and the top of my nose. And then also a little bit on my forehead. And then also on my cupid's bow. Now I'm just wiping my concealer brush clean and I'm going to go in with this contouring shade right here. I'm gonna take that right in my cheekbones. If you can't find the hollow of your cheekbones, you can make a fishy face like this. Pen right in that spot. That's where the hollow of your cheekbone is. Also, if you wanna take a makeup brush, you can just roll it down from on top of your cheekbone and right where it sits the lowest, that is the hollow of your cheekbone and that's where you wanna put the contour. So we're just gonna start out with a line there and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some X's right on top of it just so that it's a little bit easier to blend out. And I don't take it in all the way to my mouth. I find that on me that looks very unnatural. I take it in to about the edge of my eye. Then I'm gonna take a little bit on my temples and along my jawline. This is really important if you don't have a sharp jaw. For a lot of regular people, this is not as important, but I have what I like to call a very gentle jawline. So it kind of slopes instead of cutting off sharply. So I'm gonna do the same kind of thing I did on my cheekbone. I'm drawing the line and then I'm doing X's on the bottom instead of the top this time to bring the shadow more underneath my neck. And then I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit right down the side of my nose. And then just a tiny bit of contour right underneath my lip. That's gonna make my lip appear a little bit bigger. Now it's time to go in with your complexion sponge and you always wanna blend out the highlight before you blend out the contour. And that's just to make sure that you're not blending dark into places where they're supposed to be light. So I'm gonna start underneath my eyes. Above my lip, on my chin on my forehead, and then down my nose. Now that I've got that done, I'm gonna blend out the sides of my nose. And then when I'm blending out my cheekbones, I'm gonna blend upwards, not downwards. We wanna keep this sharp line there. Now I'm gonna blend out my forehead. Whenever you contour along your forehead, you really wanna blend up into your hairline. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a line along your hairline and that's not gonna look natural. And lastly, I'm gonna blend out right underneath my neck. And whenever you use cream products on your face, you really wanna make sure you set the cream products. If you don't set cream products, they're gonna move around on your face throughout the day and you're gonna end up with a contour somewhere funky and it's gonna be weird. So remember to set your cream products. Today I'm gonna to be using the NYX HD Photo Finish Powder and I'm using this because it is translucent. So I can just use the same powder all over my face and it can just set everything, which I like. Me, no 
Once you're done with that, feel free to add a powder contour on top of your cream contour. That will just make it a more intense contoured look. I tend to like the look of a cream contour a lot because it looks very natural and it just looks naturally beautiful. So I'm just gonna pop on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. And yeah, this is the finished look with cream contour. I really hope you guys like it. I really enjoyed making it for you guys. If you did like it, please give this video a big huge thumbs up. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so by clicking that button right up in there. And that will just notify you every time I make a new video. Yep, that's pretty much it. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye! And then with my Real Techniques Miracle Compulsive, but I tend to like the look of a cream top cotton. So I'm just gonna pop on the rest of my neck.